Good morning everyone um, from Ozark Living Homestead. Uh, it's um, November 25th I think. Uh, anyway, day for Thanksgiving so yeah. Um, so just in case I don't get another video made, um, I'll be going to my son's tomorrow and my daughter-in-law's um, for Thanksgiving dinner. Um, so won't get hardly anything done tomorrow. I may get a video done. But anyway, um, actually uh, kind of coming along here trying to get finally getting some progress done here on the cabin um, unfortunately got another day of rain coming in supposedly tomorrow but not plan on really doing a whole lot tomorrow anyway so it won't really matter just don't like the rain uh, almost got that roof ready to completely 100% dry in on that section started putting up the walls here on this section uh, I'll take you around and show you, but getting ready to go into town uh, before the stores close and everything and uh, pick up a bunch of materials uh, so I'll have them for this weekend and uh, get some stuff done. So, But anyway, you guys, I hope you have a great uh, Thanksgiving. Uh, enjoy your time with your families and... Uh, actually spend as much time as you can with your families because you can't get it back um you know once it's gone it's gone so but yeah just spend as much time as you can with your families but uh as you can see we like i said uh we got quite a bit done we got one more section of rap just small section of raptors up there to go over on this gable end and uh, then we can go ahead and sheet everything in and finish up this roof section, which won't be hard at all because the gable is the hardest, the most work. Um, but this this part won't take long at all. But as you can see, there's the floor um, section. Now, uh, I mentioned I'm only coming out a certain distance, and there's a lot of reasons for what I've done here. And some of you may not see it or understand, but well, it's kind of hard. But anyway, the last post stops here. And as you can see, there's a temporary tree post that's supporting that outside edge, which I'll be will be done uh, better. Um, but where you see the end of this wall, there's where another wall is going to go straight across. The rest of that on the outside is going to be left out and open over the winter. Uh, it will be covered with tarps and plastic uh, so nothing gets ruined. Um, and then this section will all be closed in. And uh, I ran, uh, see if I can, you guys can see it. You'll see gaps in between. Like I said, that's going to be on the outside. And the reason I did that like that is because you stagger your joints on these boards. It gives you your floor more sturdiness and holds everything together tightly so nothing's moving around. Uh, again, I got to cover all that out there But that way when I go to finish up the other floor, I can slide boards in uh, In those sections and keep continuing staggering the joints every two feet Again, that tightens up everything and makes everything really tight and nothing squeaks and gives away. It just kind of locks everything in uh, But actually it's going to be a nice size room the, the living room This is the living room in the bathroom this section out here that you see um it's going to be just, well, I don't know, I may just leave it like that, but I was planning on going another four feet out and then the kitchen on the end there. But uh, we have to see when we get to it. Uh, you know, right now I'm not just worried about getting all this dried in and uh, getting in there, getting it insulated and getting some electrical running there. I don't have to have all the electrical running because I can actually do it while I'm in there. But I need to get it in there. I need to get it insulated and uh, get some heat in there so which shouldn't take a whole lot longer but i just want to give you guys an update uh, on this uh, i've got to get up and cut those tails off up there and put the fascia board on it then we can deck that in there we're going to try don't know how much we're going to get done today but uh, it's actually not a bad day it's right now it's like 45 degrees out uh, it's not too bad a little breezy I'm feeling a little Mr. Rain, even though they're not calling for rain, but uh, I don't know what that's about. Uh, but yeah, I'm hoping to get the rest of this decked in and dried in today so we can cover this part up, at least that part part up and keep more and more of it drier 
Uh, the other part held up really, really good. And uh, as soon as I can get all this roof on, then I'll go get the metal roofing and uh, we'll start putting metal roofing on this thing. So, all right, you guys, uh, I'm going to go ahead and cut it off because I need to get into town and pick up the material. And I want to thank um, any of the subscribers that have so far already gone by uh, Duke's channel, Worm Getter, and uh, subscribed. Uh, again, you guys, I know you'll enjoy it. He's got a cool channel. Uh, he's just a down-to-earth person. Uh, I, I, I really enjoy his channel. You know? um, but yeah, you guys enjoy it. Go by and check it out and give him a thumbs up. All right, you guys, have a great Thanksgiving and uh, spend as much time as you, with your families as you can. All right, see ya.